Hello Leo, it's time for your mid-November to December read for this current year. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so let's see, Leo. Leo, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts, please. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Just boop your nose and away it goes. All right? All right. Any newcomers? If you want a personal, all the info is down below after the listing of music. Newcomers, first readings on the house, and I do accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. All right, Leo. What we got for you? Uh... Eight of Pentacles, with the situation being the Three of Cups. Then we have the Queen of Cups over here. Reversed. Like, you want somebody, but you know that they're, like... I want to kiss you, but your lips are venomous poison. You know? Like... That kind of thing. The obstacle and challenge is squashing some shit. Killing it off. So something new can begin with the Death card. Your fears and rejections, the king of swords, reverse, someone being a little bit bitter, and how this shit starts, how it'll end, someone tired of being everybody else's furniture for their games with the ten of pentacles, reverse. Oh, dear. It feels like you're just not, or someone, whoever, is just not feeling whatever out, right? And three cards dropped, of course. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune's turning on this closed door and everyone's just starting to swing their sticks to make a goal happen. I don't know if you're even involved in this, Leo. I don't feel like you are. Hmm. Like, you're working to end some things, but there's a fear of you possibly becoming a little bitter about shit. Well, not a little bitter, a lot bitter, because the King of Swords is just straight up, ugh. Just angry and shit, right? Like, you want to have a good time, but this Queen of Cups is just like, mmm. Like, she feeds you bullshit so you stay furniture and you don't want to do that no more, right? Right. Like, you don't want to be a coffee table no more. Alright, so with this Eight of Pentacles, right? You're working on something, but moving towards possibly this Queen of cups right here could lead to a disaster you might feel for yourself right and you feel like it's just better to walk away before it gets too dark right, there's still light you can see those cups and there's like definitely cast it on this dude but it's time to go with the situation where everyone had a good time you know there was a little bit of a pipe dream there's a little bit of a uh, maybe this is a nightmare you know even though that connection was pretty strong between you guys, right? This Queen of Cups and your wants and wishes. She's offering a cup, but I'm pretty sure it's full of shit. I'm, I'm pretty full, sure there's something there and it's like some mind control bullshit, you know? All because, you're like, you know, she wants some advancement she's not getting. She's willing to fight for it. But that's just the beginning of her fucking, uh, burdens with all of this shit, right? Hmm. How interesting, Leo. There's definitely, like, you guys have been dealing with someone you don't want to deal with anymore for such a long time. It's kind of crazy. Alright, death card down here in the obstacle and challenge for you. Having to end some shit, right? What's that about? It feels like a never-ending cycle, and you're just like, I want to get off the goddamn ride. Like, how many times have I been on this fucking planet? Too many. Why? I don't know. And you feel justified in doing so. But I feel like you also have to find some justice in why you want to end this if it's an endless cycle. No. You're kind of living in a loop, or you're afraid. Of, well, you're not afraid. It's more like an obstacle of living in a loop right? In order to stay justified, but it's like, it keeps getting brought up over and over again a little bit, I feel like. And it's like you have to justify every time why you had to squash the shit. Now with this King of Swords up top, right? 
all bitter, all angry, possibly about his queen of swords, even though she's standing, like, he's all like, da 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 da, and she's just standing there like, I'm waiting, what fucker, definitely could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in this, right? It's like she's standing guard against resurrecting something with this king of swords. Maybe you're being decisive, Leo, about um how you're handling this situation. Because I really feel like for you, like, I don't know. It's really easy to read you, Leo. I don't know why. Like, I never have a problem with you guys. But it's like... There's something here with a person where it's just like you're tired of it or you're bored or something just isn't exciting for you anymore. But this Queen of Swords will defend keeping this shit resurrected and alive, dancing naked in the light. Just be like, look at me, I'm nude. Though these guys are not paying attention to her nudeness because they were having tea time. Catalyst, as well as the final result, all this shit will work full circle. You don't want to be anybody's table no more, and you want a new start, yo. But this requires you to possibly be a little bit sneaky in order to end things. There's a skull. I always think, oh, death. Death, death, death. You might have to, like, sneak off in order to um, end things so you can start a new beginning, which is really interesting, Leo. Y'all are always trying to leave somebody. <laughs> it's just like, nah, man, I'm good. I'm good. Let's see. What's the ending theme? Some betrayal is going to leave you a little bit like, well, who the fuck am I? Basically. Like, you're going to feel betrayed, and I think you're going to lose a little bit of your identity, or if this hasn't already happened, or maybe you're betraying someone and it's got you questioning yourself. You know, cross watcher switcher, you need to. You know. Yeah, up top in this energy, like this Queen of Cups is just all in her emotions and shit, just being vindictive. Um, not really listening to anybody who has any idea about anything. Kind of rebelling and bucking the system, if you will. Not listening to her teachings. I almost feel like this is a hypocritical mother. Down the situation. Someone just wants to be happy with another person and have a good time. But they feel like they still need to walk away from all of this shit. It's like, you know, I can only play with you so much. Now I'm done playing. It's boring now. Bye bye. It's like they grew up and grew apart. Despite the fact they were happy in their younger ages. Wants and wishes. Someone decided to make choices with the Seven of Cups, decide which routes to take. They took a couple, and they decided, yeah, it's 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 done and over with. It's over. The obstacle and challenge, though, is crowning someone else a victor with you, or finding someone else to be a victor with you, because then you'll definitely feel good about it. It's just like, yes, I am justified in what I do. Hmm. Huh. That's weird. Looking for someone else to crown a victor so you know that you're doing the right thing. Are you looking for someone to agree with you or some shit? I don't know. Anyway, fears and rejections, Leo. The truth might just fly the fuck out. And then you're just running the fuck away, doing whatever you can to jump over Sphinx and shit to just be like, nah, man. I'm running over here to take what I can and end this shit. That's booty card, man, but this is like, I gotta run, man. Like, I need to go to the store for cigarettes real quick. I'll be right back 20 years later. You know, how this shit starts, how it'll end. Someone might come looking for secrets. And have to play some mind games in order to cast some motherfuckers away they don't want to deal with. Period. Alright. So, Leo. That's what I got for you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I got for you, Leah. That's the end of your reading. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, of course, but I greatly appreciate it. I love y'all's faces. You all, yeah, if I can talk today. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.